The South Africa branch of the Christian Association of Nigeria has called for due process to be followed in the case of the 58-year-old Nigerian pastor who was arrested yesterday in South Africa. Pastor Timothy Omotosho, who appeared in a Port Elizabeth court today over alleged assault and human trafficking, was denied bail. He still remained behind bars until the case resumes on May the 3rd. The Cannes representatives who spoke with our Johannesburg bureau chief, Betty Dibia, were worried that this may spark more anti-Nigerian sentiments in the country, if not properly handled. From there, we take a look at sports. Here's Ayotunde Balogun. Many thanks. And the Nigeria Professional Football League leading scorer Stephen Ode has been named the best player for the month of March. The MFMFC striker fought off challenge from Aimba skipper Mfom Udo, Samuel Mathais of El Kanemi Warriors, and Nasarawa United goalkeeper Sur Suraj Ayelisho. Now, Ode was influential in front of goal for MFM, scoring seven of their ten goals in March, 70% of their total goals for the month under review. He has now won the player award for the month twice after he was named winner in the month of January. It was a clean sweep for MFM as Fidelis Ilichuku got the manager's award for March as well. Real Madrid will take on city rivals Atletico Madrid in the Champions League semi-finals. The draw means the Madrid rivals cannot contest a third final in four years after Real's victories in 2014 and last year. Instead, Zinedine Zidane and Diego Simeone will do battle in the last four, with the first leg coming up at the Santiago Bernabeu. The other semi-final is between AS Monaco of France and Serie A champions Juventus of Italy, who were finalists in 2015. Now, first leg games will be played on May the 2nd and 3rd, while the return legs will be played on May the 9th and 10th. In the Europa League, Manchester United have been drawn against Celta Vigo of Spain in the semis. Jose Mourinho's side advanced to the last four with a 3-2 aggregate win over Anderlecht, while Celta eliminated Genk 4-3 on aggregate. The first leg will be played on May the 4th in Spain, with the second leg set for Old Trafford on May the 11th. Ajax will face Olympique Lyon of France in the second semi-final. Novak Djokovic's comeback from injury was cut short at the Monte Carlo Masters as Belgium's David Goffin earned the biggest win of his career. The world number two Djokovic playing his second match following an elbow injury lost 6-2, 3-6-7-5 in the quarterfinal. Goffin, ranked 13th in the world, earned his first career win over Djokovic by taking his fifth match point in the dramatic 11-minute final game. And that's a wrap in sports news. The news at 10 continues shortly. Thanks a lot, Ayo Tunde. In South Africa, 20 children are reported to have lost their lives after a bus they were traveling in burst into flames on collision with a truck. The minibus collided with the truck on a carriageway which lies on the border of the neighborhood Mpamalanga province. The children are said to be of primary and secondary school age and no one knows the cause of the accident. Emergency services were at the scene and they say a number of children were pulled out of the bus by members of the community. Our French authorities say they've identified the gunman who shot dead a policeman in Paris yesterday from papers left in his car. They, however, did not release his name, but local media reports say the man is Karim Charoufi, a 39-year-old living in the city's suburbs who had been seen as a potential Islamist radical. French police are also hunting for a man who's been identified by Belgium security services. The gunman was killed by security services on the Champs-Élysées, an Islamic State militant group, says one of its fighters carried out the attack. And on entertainment news tonight, star actress Rita Dominic and Chidi Mokeme team up for Mr. and Mrs. The Sequel. Here's Mayawa Ogundele with more. Many thanks. Here are your top trending entertainment stories. Popularly known as the elegant stallion, Nigerian pop music rave of the 80s through to the 90s, Onyeka Oweno is back in the music spotlight after she surprised fans and music lovers with three new songs. Lady, it's not denied. 
A woman of many parts, she has earned credits outside of music, including in acting, journalism, and politics. Onye Kaoweno, in an exclusive interview with Edshime News on Channels Television, discusses the new songs. I literally, I walk into the studio, and I have no idea what I'm going to sing. I pray. I would have prayed before, of course. I would have opened up my mind to receive. And I pray, and sometimes, and I have witnesses to this, Sometimes it just says, open your mouth and sing. And to movies now, where the second installment of the critically acclaimed 2012 thriller, Mr. and Mrs., is about to debut. The new installment, titled Mr. and Mrs. Chapter 2, stars Nollywood heavyweight Richard Dominic and Chidi Mokeme, and was previewed in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, where the cast and crew met with movie buffs. Don't you dare lie to me! Don't you dare! I'll never complain about the fact that you sit around all day without trying to look for a job! Indigenous Rafa Fino has released visuals to his brand new track, So Far So Good, off his sophomore album, The Playmaker. The video to the Thanksgiving offering is by Patrick Ellis. And that's it from me. Thank you for watching. The rest of the news continues shortly. Thanks a lot, Maya. And the main news again. The president today said he's saddened by the tragic incident where many people were electrocuted watching a football match in a viewing center in Calabar. He also commiserated with the victims' families. Also today, the Nigeria police declared militia leader Tewase Akwaza, also known as Ghana, wanted for arson and killing of over 67 people across Benue State. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Ijoma Onyato. You have a great weekend. Good night.